It's Arnie here again. Uh, great to have you all back at the shack. Uh, we're going to be learning about obedience today. Uh, obedience means to do as you are told. Uh, sometimes it isn't easy to do, uh, but you know, things work out much better uh, when you learn to be obedient. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it, okay? Uh, catch you later. What's up? Hi, Ben. Came to see you yesterday, but your mum told me you'd gone for a fishing trip with your grandpa. Yeah, that's right. I sure wish my grandpa would take me for a fishing trip. Well, actually, we didn't end up going fishing. Why's that, Shane? I'll tell you what happened. You see, there was a problem with the motor. <laughs> nah, no, all the threads are seized up. Grandpa told me he had to go and get some more tools so he could tighten the bolts on the motor. He said the motor was too loose and it could fall off. He asked me to stay and look after the boat until he got back. OK, Grandpa. Yeah, no worries. I'll look after it. Oh, I was waiting in the boat. There's no one around. I couldn't see anything wrong with the motor, uh, so I thought oh, I'd just have a little ride uh, while I was waiting and, and show Grandpa that the motor was working all right. Oh, I was having a great time. And then, then the boat started to slow down. Um, so I looked around, and over to the back, and the motor was was gone. Oh, I felt so bad. 
Uh, g'day kids, uh, Arnie here. Uh, welcome along to what I want to call Balloon Kaboom <laughs> uh, with Pastor Darren. Uh, g'day Pastor Darren. Hi Arnie, hi boys and girls. Um, what are we making today Pastor Darren? Well today I'm going to make an animal. An animal? That's right. Yeah. I'd like you and the boys and girls out there to guess what it might be. Mm. Okay, we're good at guessing. Okay, yeah, well I'm going, we I've got a brown balloon today. Yeah, a brown balloon. I'm going to blow it up. So the animal must be brown. This animal has lovely, warm, fuzzy, soft lips. So I'm going to make two fuzzy lips. Two fuzzy lips. One. Yeah. There it is. I'm going to make a face. Oh, so going to have a face. And two ears. Yeah, and two ears. And it's brown. Mm. And a neck. Oh, and a neck as well. Now, this animal yep. has a lovely plaited mane. Oh, is that a clue? That's a big clue, Arnie. A lovely plaited mane. So I'm going to mm. make the plaited mane. Now, brown. Got lips. A head, the neck. Mane. That's what it was. That's right. Put the mane up and over the ears. So there's the animal's head. Oh, excellent. Now he needs a body, so I make some legs. Yeah. So it's brown, got a head, got big lips, a mane, and some legs now. So I can run fast. Oh, so I can run fast. And the back legs, and yeah. leave a tail. Mm. And yeah. just give this animal some lovely eyes. Have you, have you guessed what it is yet, kids? Oh, I reckon I've got an idea. You like it? Yeah. You guess what it is yet, Arnie? Uh, I reckon it's a billy goat. A billy goat? Yeah. Come on, Arnie, have another look. Am I wrong? You're very wrong. Uh, I, I, I know what it is. It's a horse. That's right, it's yeah. a horse. Yeah, just like my throat, it's a bit horse. A bit horse today, Arnie? Yeah, yeah. Do you have horses on the farm? Oh, I do. Did you know there's a famous story about a well-known horse? Is he? His name was Farlap. And when he was born... Yeah. They actually said that he was not going to make it. They said he was ugly. He had warts all over his face. And he didn't look like a racehorse. But one man saw potential, the trainer. And he took that horse and he trained it up and down the sand hills and around and around the racetrack every day. And that horse grew up and into probably one of the most famous horses the world has ever known. He won a lot of races. He did. But he didn't just win by himself. He needed someone to help him besides mm. the trainer. Yeah, he did too. You can't have a race horse without a jockey. You know what the jockey does? The jockey gives the horse instructions. And if the horse obeys the jockey, then he's got every chance of winning the race. What about us? Yep. We can be champions too, you know. Well, we can. But we need a jockey. You know who our jockey is? Um, could that be Jesus? That's right. Oh. We need Jesus. We, yeah, need we to follow his instructions. Yeah. Read his Bible, talk to him, and do what he asks us to do. If we obey Jesus, we'll become a champion too, just like Barlap was. Hey, do you want to take the horse home? Oh, I'd love to take it home. For someone you can give it to? Yeah, and I've got a name for him as well. A name for the horse? Yeah, this one here. What are you going to call him? I'm going to call him Fast Lap. Just like Far Lap, but Fast Lap. Fast Lap, okay. Yeah. And I'm, go I'm going to give it to Hardy again. Yeah, Ranger Hardy. Okay, you yeah. take give it to Ranger Hardy, but make sure you tell him the story of Far Lap. Yeah, yeah, I will. And how to become a champion for God. Yep. Yeah. And thanks, kids, for joining us again at uh, Balloon Kaboom. It's great being yeah. here. Yeah. See you back here next time. See ya, bye. Bye, Arnie. Bye, boys and girls. This is Postman PJ reporting for duty.
Perspective with PJ. Today, we're going to try some hopping. Let's start with our right leg. Here we go. Let's try our left leg. Here we go. That's it. Now try some skipping. This is how you do it. Why don't you try it? This is fun! <laughs> now let's go for a jog! That's it! And running! Woo! Keep running! And running! Hello, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to make a paper boat. All you need to do is just fold this in half, fold it again, unravel one fold, make sure the fold is at the top and then you fold two triangles in. And then you fold one of the flaps on the bottom up to the triangles. And then you do it the same on the other side. And doesn't it look a bit like a hat? And now you fold the two corners in and then now you put your fingers in the middle and then you push it down and make it like this. And now you fold a triangle up. And then you do it the same on the other side. And then you put your thumbs in the middle and then you pull it out. And then you push two things on the side in. And voila, we have a boat. Check it out with Ranger Hardy! G'day there kids, Ranger Hardy here again. Today I'm out here with one of my favourite animals, a horse. Well, actually it's called a pony, which is a small type of horse. A horse is one of the most beautiful and elegant creatures God has made. Horses are very intelligent animals. This pony is called Amy. With four strong legs, they are designed to move very quickly, even when they have a rider on their back. The rider uses the reins to turn the horse and control where they want to go. Amy is actually a mum, and this is her two-year-old baby. Her name is Lily. These little ponies are black when they are born, and as they get older, they turn white. After taking Carla for a ride, Amy is enjoying her lunch. I also met Commander. This is Lily's father. He was having a little snack and enjoying it too. He then decided that his back was very, very itchy, so he rolled over and had a big scratch. Horses are really sensational animals. Watch out for a chance to have a ride on one. They're really fun. Anyway, I've got to move on now. Got a tight schedule ahead of me. So from Ranger Hardy, I'll see you next time. Catch up, boy.
part about it is we're going to heaven. Get on board and hang on for the ride. So why don't you come along and join us? Get on board and hang on for the ride. Can't wait. I can't wait. Get on board and hang on for the ride. Get on board. What'd you do? I, I was really scared. Oh, I wish I'd listened to Grandpa. Uh, anyway, Grandpa eventually came back and uh, I told him what had happened and, and, and that I was really sorry. Grandpa was pretty upset. Actually, he was real mad. He, he said, well, we better go and find where that motor fell off. We prayed about it and then we went diving in the river. And you know what? We actually found the motor. Uh, but it took all the rest of the day to clean it up and get it going again. What'd your gramps say then, Shane? Well, he said he was really disappointed that I hadn't listened to him. But you know what? He still forgave me. And he told me he still loves me too. I prayed and asked Jesus to forgive me as well. I felt so much better after that. We missed out on our fishing trip. But at the end of the day, once we got the motor going, we went out for a little spin together. Oh, I sure learned a good lesson. I'm gonna listen to my grandpa next time. I really am sorry. For what I've done I'm feeling so sorry For what I've done I did what was wrong And I'm feeling so bad I'm really gonna try Not to do it again I'm so sorry For what I've done Sorry Grandpa I really am sorry for what I've done. I'm feeling so sorry for what I've done. I did what was wrong and I'm feeling so bad. I'm really gonna try not to do it again. I'm so sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for what I've done I 
really am sorry for what I've done. Sorry, Grandpa, about the boat. Yeah, g'day, kids. Uh, it's Arnie here again. Uh, you know, the Bible talks about obedience as well. Uh, in Colossians 3.20, it says, uh, Children, obey your parents in everything because this pleases the Lord. Uh, when we are obedient, uh, this really does please the Lord and pleases our parents too. Uh, it makes us all so happy. Uh, so children, uh, remember, always be obedient. I'm feeling so happy I did what was right I'm feeling so happy So much better inside I took what was wrong And made it all right And now I've got nothing to hide I'm feeling so happy So happy inside I'm feeling so happy I did what was right I'm feeling so happy So much better inside I took what was wrong And made it all right And now I've got nothing to hide I'm feeling so happy So happy should have seen me before I didn't want to walk out the door And though it wasn't easy to do I said sorry and I told the truth I'm feeling so happy yeah. I did what was right I'm feeling so happy So much better inside Look what was wrong. Arnie Shack was proudly brought to you by Abide Family Ministries, a unique Christian ministry promoting positive family values through music. All TV episodes of Arnie Shack are now available on DVD, so you can watch Arnie and all your favourite characters at home. Also available CDs, music books and backing tracks, so you can sing along to your favourite songs. 
Learn to make your own balloon kaboom with Pastor Darren's Balloon Kaboom books and DVDs. Visit us online to purchase these and other popular Abide products at abide.com.au or write to us at PO Box 155 Morissette, New South Wales 2264, Australia. If you've been blessed by this program, we would love to hear from you.